sat down to make this video and I got the hiccups as soon as I clicked play. Hey guys, what's up? It's Micah. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, you should go down there and subscribe. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. I'm just going to explain what this is. Some of you already know from the title, but this is an audition for a collab channel called Our Common Youth. I'll leave the links to like the channels and everything down below. First, I'm going to give a little backstory on why I'm like auditioning. I haven't seen anyone else do it, but like I feel like it's... I want to put that in there. Pretty much since I started this whole YouTube thing, I've wanted to be a part of a collab channel and I would look up like auditions open and stuff like that. I never really clicked with the person if that makes sense. Like I was just really self-conscious that they wouldn't like me. I don't even have a huge subscriber count or anything like that. So like I just always talked myself out of like actually putting out an audition for the collab channel but for this one i'll leave the link in the description if anyone else wants to join and i definitely recommend it seems like it's really going to be like a healthy collab channel if that makes sense like i think it's actually going to be a responsible one unlike ones that like start and then like people leave and like they stop and it just it's not good. I think this one's going to be really good so if you guys are thinking about auditioning or anything you can do it. I believe in you. You should audition too. I'd love to work with you if I get picked. Anyways, like I said, since I started, I wanted to be part of like a collab channel. Part of it is like, I think the idea behind it is so cool, like the weekly themes and all that. But like, I haven't really connected with that many people through YouTube, like other YouTubers or other people doing YouTube and stuff like that. So I think it'd be really cool to like have that group of people, if that makes sense, like to have like a friendship relationship have a connection a connection that's a good word have a connection with this other like handful of people that are in this group and the guy running the channel Fabio Thomas just seems like really I don't know it's just something about him is really genuine and passionate and it makes me feel like I don't have to be like self-conscious or anything I feel like I can just be myself I don't know how to explain it. I just, I don't feel uncomfortable with it. I feel like excited, pumped, like ready. Also, I'll leave all the links to Fabio's like channels and social medias and all that below. I've been rambling for a while now. I think I'm just gonna get into the like video portion, you know? So we're supposed to list like seven random facts. So I thought why not list seven weird or unusual facts cause we all know I'm not normal. Number one, I'm gonna try to explain these to the best of my ability, you know? Number one, I died when I was born. <laughs> as weird as that sounds, people can argue with me all they want, but I consider it that I died when I was born. I was breathing in my mother's womb, and then when I was born, I wasn't breathing. Therefore, I died when I was born. They did bring me back. I don't remember how long my mom said I was like, not breathing for but the doctors did make me start breathing obviously i'm here in the flesh <laughs> number two i can burp really loud my sister thinks it's because i got my tonsils removed so there's like nothing blocking the passageway for the burp or whatever um i don't know but i have mad skills not gonna lie i'm usually not like confident about stuff like about skills because i don't have any talents really but burping i can do very well i could probably beat most guys at a burping competition some say girls should not be proud of that i say it's a talent one of my only ones so i'm gonna roll with it three when i was younger i went to multiple doctors because i was running down the hallway and i got a lego a mini lego stuck in my ear somehow i went to multiple doctors they all pushed it in farther okay this was a scary time i almost had to get surgery okay and then the last one finally got it out and i'm alive and well but that was like who can say that i almost had to get surgery when i was younger because i got a lego stuck in my head number four is like a weird obsession i've always been obsessed with like writing lyrics down i feel like this isn't weird i feel like maybe a lot of people do it but then at the same time, I'm like, I don't know anyone who does it, so. Okay, but like, I just have like notebooks. And these, these aren't it. There's a lot more since I was like really little, but there's like, there's like lyrics to random songs. 
and it's like filled with them everywhere like all through here I just have lyrics to random songs like not lyrics I wrote but like to random songs that I like I'll write the lyrics down I don't know why I don't know why I don't know why number five I love to read and write for as far back as I can remember I've kept a diary or a journal whatever you want to call it diary journal yeah I've always kept like a journal or diary to like put my feelings in and stuff especially before I like made my YouTube channel because it was like my only like creative outlet I guess and I've also always been like in love with reading books and writing books and stuff like that <gasps> wait I think I have all my wait I'm gonna try to find as many journals as I can and show you guys not what's in them because like privacy but like I'll show you how many I have because like it's crazy okay I found as many as I could um here they are I have a bunch of uh, diaries number five my favorite thing to do other than YouTube and writing is definitely like finding new music and finding new artists I love finding music that isn't like really well known or songs that don't play multiple times on the radio number seven is kind of like a quick little story time i guess in seventh grade all the girls in my grade thought it would be like a really cool and entertaining idea to see how many girls we could fit on someone's lap so like one girl someone sitting on their lap another girl sitting on their lap another girl another girl another girl so on you can picture it okay we're sitting on the floor, okay? So everyone, I'm telling you, every single girl in my grade was like trying to join in almost. Like there was like maybe like 15 or 20 didn't join in or like come around us. Obviously, I'm like, I'm not the skinniest person ever. I am overweight. So they put me at the bottom. So I was the first girl sitting down on the floor against the wall and everyone sat on my lap. Which, you know, I wouldn't care about normally, but something you guys don't know about me. A while back I had a bladder infection that, um, that like permanently messed up my bladder, I guess. So I have like the bladder of an old lady, pretty much. So like once I have to use the restroom, I have to use the restroom. I don't get like time to be like, oh, I think I'm gonna have to go to the restroom soon or something like that. Once I have to go, I have to go right then. Like there is no time. There is no time for warning. There is no time to do anything. I need to go, I need to get there, and I need to pee. It's how I am, okay? These girls did not understand that, okay? I was fine when I first sat down, and then I wanna say 10 girls in, I started having to pee. And I was like, oh God, mother of God, please, please let this be over soon, please let, people like start falling so that we I can go and I was sitting there and I was like trying I can't even cross my legs I can't even cross my legs because they're like straight out and everyone's sitting on top of me so I can't cross my legs so I held it in as long as I could and then finally the girls gave up and they were like we cannot get another girl on here so everyone got up off me as soon as the chick that was on me got up I immediately peed myself this is embarrassing. I've never said this like I don't no one knows this. I peed myself at school It sucked and there's a weird fact. There's my seventh weird fact. Hey, what's up before I go? I just want to say a couple things first of all good luck to everyone who auditions I hope you get it even if I don't get it I'm happy for whoever gets it cuz like it sounds like it's gonna be a really like an actually genuine collab channel which is quite hard to come by these days. So I congratulate those of you who get picked. Second, I wanna thank Fabio Thomas because this is a really cool opportunity and I like, he finally gave me like the confidence, I guess? Confidence, motivation, all that good jazz to like actually make an audition video which I've been like trying to do for a while now. So I'm glad I waited until now because I'm, I'm excited and I'm pumped for this channel even if I'm not gonna be a part of it. Like I said, all of Fabio and like the collab channel and all that's links will be in the description. So to Fabio, thank you for this opportunity. I hope to be joining you on your collab channel soon. If not, I'm happy to see where it goes and I think you're gonna take it 
I think you're gonna take it pretty far. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. There are plenty more videos to come. I post new videos every week. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all, and remember, keep your head up. I'm not gonna lie, I had a really cute outfit picked out for this video. Then it dropped like 14 degrees in my room out of nowhere. Hence the hoodie. Today's video is gonna be a little different. Not that different. A lot different. I pretty much, pretty much, pretty much, pretty much, pretty much, pretty much, pretty much. I'm so off topic. I'm rambling hardcore. I don't know if this is gonna come out good or not. <laughs> okay, guys, music. <laughs> I was gonna say music makes the heart grow fonder. <laughs> what is that actual quote? It's not music, I know that. Guys, I am gonna be a poet. Shout out to you, Fabio, for being a good guy. <laughs> I need help. Oh my gosh, my hiccups went away. Praise Jesus, hallelujah. No, but I'm sad, my pterodactyl screamed. Whoa, whoa, did you hear that? Did you hear that? You may think that was supposed to be me trying to do an accent, but that was just my natural Texan accent coming out. That hasn't happened in a long time. <laughs> I knew I could do it. I did it. Woo! I'm turning off this video because I accomplished my goal.